So I, I recognize that there's an awful lot of embarrassment associated with coming in to see a doctor like myself. People don't want to talk to strangers about these sorts of problems. But I'd absolutely encourage people to come in because we're going to have treatment options that are going to work for them. This is not something that people tend to talk to other people in their personal lives about. This isn't something that you're going out to have a beer with a couple friends and mention in passing. And I don't expect that's gonna change, but the things that you have to keep in mind are, it's entirely possible that one of the two friends you're having a beer with has this problem also. These are super common problems. You're not the first person to come in and tell us how bothered you are by this problem. Well, that bother ought to motivate you to, to get a fix. And I think some part of what I am up against has to do with there being a very common understanding of these medicines. So one patient might tell me, well, there's a buddy I play golf with who's tried this stuff before and it didn't work. You know, if, if it turns out that your golf buddy is somebody who was particularly unhealthy, I might not be surprised that these pills didn't work. I do think it's worthwhile for people to write down some notes or thoughts for themselves before they come in. How long do you think you've had this problem? Can you think of anything specific that triggered this problem? What are your other medical issues and how well are you taking care of them? It's amazing to me how many times I ask people, who's your primary care doctor? And they know they have one, but they don't know their name which usually tells me I, I probably got to work on building that relationship for them a little bit. But I, I would certainly encourage people to do some of that thinking prior to coming in. And then alongside that, kind of the medical context of what's important to me to know. Questions like what other medications do you take? What's your family history of heart disease? What's your family history of urology cancer? So it's on me to walk people through that until they feel comfortable with the idea, okay, he thinks this is a medication that's okay for me to try. And then we have to walk through what medication will they attempt? What is the dose? What is the schedule? How do you take it correctly? How do you take it incorrectly? Uh, but at the end of all that, yes, there's, there's a huge majority of patients for whom these drugs are effective. Uh, the other thing that I would encourage people to remember in this day and age, tools like telemedicine make it much more likely that the patient can access a doctor like myself even if they don't live anywhere near me. So don't be afraid to make a video visit with someone uh, who specializes in this and, and they can probably get you started in terms of both diagnostics and treatment that can help you with these particular issues. If you're watching this, I want you to understand it's a worthwhile effort to get out of your house, come in and see a doctor like myself, and we're gonna find a way to, to navigate this problem for you. It's gonna be uncomfortable at first, and we're gonna move through that, and then it's gonna be solved. And, and won't that be worth it?